So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kind of glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim, not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rolled with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas and killed near 200 people, boy. Ah, nothing great about that. And from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. stop this train in the first place. Well, the James boys were experts at this. They hopped a freight train, having heard there was a big payroll in the express safe. So, I hopped the same train. The James Younger gang was decimated after that little fiasco they had in Northfield, Minnesota. So Jesse needed more men and took on the killer I was after, along with a host of others. I was hoping to find my man and put a bullet in his head. Climbing around that train, I must have swallowed a hundred damn bugs before I the reached James that. James Younger gang pulled the first train robbery west of the Mississippi. Sounds like you hold them in high regard. Everyone knows they were the most famous outlaw gang ever. And you took them all on by your lonesome. Again. I'm finding this all a little hard to swallow, friend. Well, maybe you need to wash it down with some whiskey. By the way, did I mention that that train was flying down those tracks like a bat out of hell? the gentleman's facilities. Suddenly I have an urgent need to drain my one-eyed snake. Anyway, excuse me, Ben. Where would I find the gentleman's facilities? Suddenly I have an urgent need to drain my one-eyed snake. Well, I've had more than a few drinks and uh, I've been sitting here for quite a spell. <laughs> right through there. Let me show I've you. never heard so much malarkey in my life. Uh, you think he's bullshitting us? You don't think he's Silas Grease? I think he's just some old drunk looking for some free liquor. Oh, 
Jack. I think I believe him. You don't think he met Jesse James? Boy, you gotta be kidding me. That story makes no sense at all. Jack. I mean, you gotta be two bricks short of a load to believe that cock and bull story. I don't agree. <laughs> Jack, lay off the boat. But you seriously think that tired old man went toe to toe with Jesse James? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's better. Did I mention that this Jim was married to the infamous Bell Star? Of course, I didn't learn that until later. Anyway, I made my way forward the best I could. Around the sides, over the roof. At some point, some some bitch saw me and shouted out, "It's the damn Pinkertons!" It's the damn Pinkertons! Now I never worked for that Lyman cocksucker, but I guess they assumed I was one of his assassins. Those evil bastards firebombed Jesse's mother's house and killed his stepbrother. So it's no wonder each and every asshole on that train wanted me dead. Everybody's always mistaking you for somebody else, aren't they? Why is that, I wonder? Don't rightly know, Jack. I'm just telling you how I remember it. I bet you are. come up with a creative way to make my way forward. Right about then, I was attacked by some asshole on a Gatlin gun. Yeah, seems like you run into a lot of them. Asshole? Gatlin guns. Yes, I did. Now, I don't remember how I took it out. It was either a bullet or dynamite. Where would you find dynamite? Does it really matter, Jack? You're messing with the flow of the story here. son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. There sure were a lot of men determined to die that day. that Jesse detached the express car from the rest of the damn train. I could see Jesse waiting for me, fixing to kill me so he could get away with all that money. You had a showdown with Jesse James? Of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah. Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Guess it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, Ben? Your past always catches up with you. Yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his guns. What about that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. 
That bastard slipped away again. I'll tell you how I got him. But first, I need to whip my whistle. <laughs>